been impersonating her idol, Tina Turner, for nearly 20 years. But it seems after becoming simply the best, she's caught the attention of Tina herself and her people, and they're not happy. Well, they say the American impersonator who currently sells out shows in Germany is just too close to the real thing, and now she's being sued. So could this mean an end to every great tribute act? Dorothy is here now. I mean, man, you look Welcome. like her. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to sing for us in a bit, so we'll find out about the hit. Um, I, 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 thinking about this, I mean, it seems if they win, um, that, that, does that mean the end of all tribute acts? Well, I'm not sure about that, but it would be a big problem because the industry is huge, as you know. You know, you guys also have a huge um, industry here with lookalikes and yeah. and big shows and and uh, productions. So, I think that would be really bad news <laughs> yeah, it... if that should happen. But I don't think that's going to happen. We're going to be positive. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. For you, singing as her and performing as her, when yeah. did that begin? Because I know, I mean, you were a fan of hers for as long as you yes, can remember, really. Yes, I started, um, I moved to Las Vegas and I was working with Sonny Turner's Platters and we were performing and someone in the audience uh, saw me and approached me after the show and said, you know, you look like Whitney Houston, okay? That's something completely different. Yeah. But, and um, that I should audition for the show Legends in Concert mm -hmm. in Las Vegas. Uh -huh. And I did that and I got the job. And uh, soon after, I thought, I want to do Tina Turner. She's my big hero, you know, so she's a, I'm a really big fan of her. So I thought I would uh, get myself prepared um, and, and try to go as Tina Turner. So, and, what, so you're born in Alabama, right? Yeah, born in Huntsville. And, uh, and so the, the, the whole Tina Turner thing, you've not seen her live. You haven't, yeah, you haven't unfortunately. Never had the, yeah. yeah, that's a shame. Um, so what is it about her? It's, I don't know. Um, it's a feeling when I when I when I watch her videos and uh, see her on television, I'm just moved to do things that I normally wouldn't do. Mm. <laughs> you know, she takes me out of my com comfort zone, and um, it's just it's just so much fun performing as Tina Turner. I love the music, I love what she presents on stage, the energy. Uh, the rawness, you know, she just gives you yeah. everything. Yeah. So. I mean, there's no doubt. She has yeah. an energy like no one else. Um, but so for you, like somebody, and you know, you don't just perform as her. She yes. is kind of your idol, mm -hmm. if you like. Is that that the closest you've got to actually being anywhere near her or any sort of interaction is this lawsuit? Well, I, well, yes, <laughs> yes and no, but I, I've never seen her live in concert, but um, I work a lot in uh, Zurich, in, in uh, Switzerland. And um, one year we had the... Um, show at the Opera House, the Zurich mm. Opera House. And she was the main guest there. So she sat up in the balcony and she watched the band that I was with. So I saw her. I was in the same building with her, but I didn't get to meet her. You didn't get to meet her. Um, the conductor knew her personally and he set it up that we should meet her, but her and her entourage had left before we uh, were finished, so I missed my chance. Missed let's, go, uh, let's go through the nitty-gritty of this yeah. uh, lawsuit a little bit. Okay. Um, this is against uh, Kofo Entertainment, mm -hmm. a German firm that represents you. Yeah. Uh, Tina's lawyers argue that uh, you look so much like her yeah. in promotional posters that fans may mistakenly think that the real <laughs> Tina <laughs> is, in <laughs> is involved in the show. Yeah. Um, posters were redesigned and, uh, and so in the this new round, actually, yeah. they lost the first round, the follow-up case yeah. in Cologne. Um, so it's now reached the Federal Court of Justice and the final decision is due in February. Mm -hmm. So your lawyer, uh, so that was Tina's lawyer, said what Miss Turner dislikes about the whole affair is that she would mm -hmm. like to be the master of her own self-determination. She wants to decide herself when her name and her image can be used for marketing purposes. The judge uh, agreed, sort of hinted, that he was inclined to rule uh, in the tribute show's favour mm. um, and, uh, and suggested that Tina Turner might have an ulterior motive for bringing the case, that she'd lent her name to the rival um, authorised Tina Turner tribute yes. act. So, you know, maybe, maybe that's because there, there is the, the big musical. That's um, right, The Tina yeah. musical. Um, your lawyer uh, is arguing that the average fan would expect a tribute act to look like the real Tina Turner yeah. and said only a chronically stupid person who looks at everything superficially would get the two confused. Mm. Um, <laughs> it, I mean, it, it, it does seem there is this, there is this hint. Has the, has the official Tina show come to Germany? Not that I know of, no. Um, I was um, at the first court date and she didn't appear there and they are now saying... The obvious, I think, that you know, it's it's the um, the concurrence, it's um, the competition between my show and 
or our show and the Tina musical. Because mm -hmm. this whole thing never started. Uh, uh, it only started after that they brought the production from the UK to Germany. Oh, so the musical is in, in Germany. Yes, that's, it, that's is, arrived it in is Germany. now in Germany. And yeah. that's when, and that's when the, the trouble started. started. What a coincidence. Yeah, yes, what a coincidence. Well, I mean, it's in February this rules against you. What does this mean for you personally? Well, I mean, it doesn't affect us yet put it that way. Um, and personally, I think I, I have no ill feelings or against uh, the other company or Tina Turner for sure, because yeah. I think this whole thing is just uh, them trying to, you know, stuff out the competition. Right. Um, and they want to have, you know, have everything for themselves. But, you know, we all want to pay tribute to Tina Turner. I mean, mm. she is just such a big icon and she's an amazing person. In the, women, in the lives of women and men as well. But um, so, you know, we, we pay tribute to her, we celebrate her music, and our musical does that through her music. Mm. And also, isn't this just the best publicity? It's the best, it's <laughs> the best, really. I thought, uh, what a shame that, you know, I never thought that our tribute to her would cause such a fuss. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, um, we must be doing something right. But you're really here, serious. you're going yeah. to sing for us, and it's well. all thanks to Tina. Yes. It's all thanks to a lawsuit. Uh, yeah. <laughs>